I recently had my very first YouTube sponsor and overall it was a pretty positive experience. I won't get into all the nitty gritty details, but their communication was pretty good, pretty responsive. They were quick to approve my video, uh, didn't have any notes for me, so that was good too. So it seemed like they were pretty accepting of whatever I put out. Uh, of my integration. Uh, they paid me pretty quickly too, also a plus side, and they'd expressed that they wanted to work with me more in the future. So hopefully more on that to come. Thanks uh, into the AM. Use code BERT <laughs> if you're ordering anything. That's all I'll say on that side, don't worry. Um, but I'm probably going to reach out and see if they're interested in doing anything like more with the hobby down the road because, you know, worth a shot, right? And that got me thinking about the last company <laughs> that really got in deep with the foam flinging community. And I think it's time I finally talk about it. That would be Flux Sunglasses. If you were in the hobby in 2019, you probably heard about them at least once. So if you're newer to the hobby, you might not be too familiar with them. So I will tell you everything that happened and uh, hopefully answer some questions from folks who were wondering uh, at the time, why is this company showing up so much? I'm just going to explain what a newer creator who got way too excited and uh, made some dumb decisions what that looks like. Important first note, Flux Sunglasses is not affiliated with Dr. Flux. So um, I know, same name, but no, they are in fact different. Flux Sunglasses is just a sunglass company. And I think the first way that they heard about the foam flinging world was because of Foamcast Radio, who at the time had a podcast and Flux Sunglasses was one of the sponsors on that podcast. I don't know if they paid to be on that sponsor, if they paid to be a sponsor on that podcast or if they just had like a, an affiliate code or a discount that you could use, but that's uh, where I first heard about them. And then after they appeared a little bit on the podcast, I think they learned more about some other foam flinging creators in the space and they started reaching out. They first reached out over Instagram. They said, hello, I personally was really captivated by your amazing feed and kept me wondering, you'll be a great addition to our Flux fam bam. There is a lot of grammatical errors and spelling mistakes here, so <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, Flux manufacture awesome sunglasses for awesome people like you. Oh, jeez. Our main goal is to encourage people to break out of their comfort zone and be fearless on conquering their fear. <laughs> and so, okay, that's that. They said then, that's why we would like you to be a part of the Flux fam bam. Together, let us inspire people to be fearless and limitless. With that, we would like to send you a pair of our awesome sunglasses to try on in exchange for you to use it in your Nerf battles. And check out a pair here. Let us know which one. Hope to hear from you soon. So I replied and said, here's the pair I would like. Well, thank you so much. And they sent those over. Now, that is all that happened initially. I received a pair of sunglasses, a blue pair of sunglasses, the ones that I asked for, and that was that. Flux Sunglasses never sponsored my channel. They never paid me anything. And as far as I understand, they haven't paid anyone anything, but they never offered. So it's not that they were out to scam people. It's not that they, you know, failed on some promise. They just never had that on the table. They only were offering here are some sunglasses, and here's a discount code that other people can use to buy our sunglasses. So, with that in mind, again, it wasn't like, you know, some shady stuff happened afterwards. This, unfortunately, was where I took things to the next level and kind of gave them this idea that they could really squeeze anything they want out of me because I didn't fully understand what it meant to be sponsored at the time. I didn't understand like what my value was as a creator. I was still smaller at the time, still small, but like still learning what that all meant. So um, they were asking for a video on their glasses or like, you know, showing them off in a game, which I thought, sure, I'll, I'll show them off in a game. These are, by the way, um, just like regular use sunglasses, the kind you'd wear outside in the sun not eye protection. So they asked when I was using the sunglasses and I said, hey, I use them in this game here. And I showed them a link to, I'd run that in a War 11 where I believe I was wearing them uh, in that video and then said, oh, cool, cool. We'd love to send you a code that you can use with your followers. Here it comes. So then they eventually generated me a code, FluxBrett10 to save 10% off your next order. Cool. Again, none of that money ever went back to me. It was just for other people. So I started wearing them in my I'd Run That in a War series, and then they also popped up in another few videos. But for the I'd Run That in a War series especially, I thought, 
Wouldn't it be fun to really show my appreciation to this company who sent me a single pair of sunglasses, that I'm a team player, that I, I truly do want people you know, to be their best with Flux sunglasses? Um, what if I make a commercial for them? Again, no payment, nothing, stupid me doing stupid things. And so I put together, I'll show you now what that looked like. Hi, I'm Brett, and while I sometimes wear a beret, I always wear eye protection when I'm out flinging foam. It's the safe and responsible thing to do, even if you don't think your blasters are that powerful. And that's why on sunny days, I wear my polarized Avento sunglasses from Flux Sunglasses. These sunglasses are ideal for folks who want affordable, stylish sunglasses that cut glare and protect your eyes from foam projectiles. I've put these to the test in my own experiences and have not been disappointed in the protection that they provide. Use the coupon code FLUXBRETT10 to save 10% on your next order. Thanks Flux Sunglasses for protecting my eyes and being an official sponsor of Team Paradox in the 2019 Foam Pro Tour. Now look, I have no problem featuring products or brands in my videos that I like for no cost. Obviously, I, I do it all the time, right? Like technically, Nerf doesn't pay me anything to make videos, right? Even Dart Zone, X-Shot. I, I have um, Monster Cat swag behind me. I've never been sponsored by Monster Cat, even though I, I love their music. I'd love to be sponsored by them in the future if they would be interested. Um, but I've, I have no problem showing off their logos or, or their stuff because I'm just a big fan, right? So. There's no problem with me going out and making something like, hey, look, fuck sunglasses. You should get a pair if you really want them. But obviously, this comes across as an ad because it was designed to be one because I didn't realize that that's uh, probably not what I should have done. I was excited. I wanted to show off that I was a big boy who got a big pair of free sunglasses. And so I made an ad that I started putting in multiple videos. I did the work recently. I went through and I searched in my videos, where did I put like that little commercial break in? Uh, where did I shout out Flux sunglasses and explicitly talk about them? And where did I put my discount code in a video description? Seven videos I did that. Seven, in one case, I did it twice in the same video. Again, for no money, here I am freely promoting the product for, for just one pair. I had still only received one pair of blue sunglasses up to this point. A couple I run that in a war videos, my epic Jared battle vlog, uh, and then eventually what would become the next pair of sunglasses I received from the Foam Pro Tour of 2019. Hi Bray, I saw your latest video about the competition. Maybe we ask if we can use some of them in our content and ads. Okay, so we were showing off that we had joined together for this Paradox team and they were like, oh, can we, um, can we show off your stuff? Uh, because, you know, we've agreed to now send you one pair of Flux sunglasses for every team player, which was very cool, and Archer helped facilitate that, which was very kind of her. They did not offer us any money, which, again, just became the trend, but they did offer us free eye protection, and so, as a result, here's our jersey. We said, sure, we would love to put your logo on our jersey. There, there it is. Flux, Flux right there along with the uh, blaster parts, the FPT logo, and then Devil's Nerf Works. So I had no problem with, oh, they supplied us with some equipment. We'll throw them on the jersey. But the pairs of sunglasses they sent, I still have this one. These are my Flux sunglasses from the 2019 Foam Pro Tour. They've taken a little bit of a beating up to this point because, spoiler alert, I still use them. They haven't been sitting in a box somewhere for ages. These are a pair of kind of like beater sunglasses that I'll just wear around if I need to grab something really quick, and if they get lost or damaged, I don't care that much. But they have clearly been working for me. Wow, very red. Is there anything special about these sunglasses? I mean, not totally, but the biggest problem is that they are, again, sunglasses. These are not rated as eye protection, and I know at least at one point, someone lost a lens during the FPT, and uh, that is about as dangerous as you could get. 250 FPS is not an okay setting to have just casual whatever eyewear. Like for casual games, something is better than nothing, but definitely I would recommend getting actual impact rated eye protection. Even Nerf and Dart Zone now include simple and cheap eye protection in their 14 and up blasters, right? Like this will give you more protection. This is from, uh, I think, one of the gel fire blasters because you know i bought that stupid stuff and this is obviously going to be safer to wear 
for those kinds of games than these. Oh, they do say Hasbro on the side. Hasbro Z87 Plus. There you go. Flux sunglasses is not a scam. You can go on Amazon, you can buy a pair, and you will receive that pair. Are they going to be worth the money? That's up to you. But you do, in fact, receive a product. The problem is, of course, that when we, as foam flinging enthusiasts, recommend that product for our games, specifically, that's probably not ideal. Of course, the Foam Pro Tour proved it was a big deal because at that FPS, yes, it really does matter. It matters at any FPS, but again, high-powered nerfing, which is now what a lot of us do. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that's what you do. These ain't gonna cut it. But Flux Sunglasses loved this. We wore their sunglasses. They generated this image for us, which, you know, looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm appreciative that they did start doing some stuff for us, and they asked if they could, uh, feature that picture like on their website for like you know buying sunglasses that that felt like something right that's pretty cool they really are giving back to us we are not sponsored in that way we've gotten no money from them to do this kind of work and then the audacity uh, i thought reading back through some of my dms with them would be just funny this at least is something i didn't give them so july 29th i think this was right after the phone pro tour hi bray Brother, may I ask a favor? If you can do a video for our summer campaign, maybe we get the team together for this. Let me know. I'll send you a brief. <sighs> Hello, I would be happy to help you out. Let me know what I can do, you stupid Brett. I'll go back in time and slap you in the face. Here's what they sent. Here's the script. Ask people, where are they heading this summer? The beach, the mountains, or on the road travel. Then share with them their own summer adventure, your, your own summer adventure. Where are you heading this summer? Wherever you choose to go, you should get the perfect sunglasses for your wake. <laughs> Click the link at the top and we'll guide you with a perfect pair for your adventure. See ya! Above is a script. Thank you so much. They thought they had me by the balls. They, well, they almost did. <laughs> they did for a while. They were like, look at this sucker. He's just making video promos for us in all of his videos. Let's get another one out of him. Here's a summer promo. Hey, why don't you go and get all five of those teammates uh, from different parts of the not only country, but world. Why don't you get them back together to film this quick promo and then we'll use that to promote Flux Sunglasses and you receive nothing. This was the first time where they were like, hey, we have an idea that you can do where nothing was offered. And obviously, thank God, I realized at the time that that was not going to happen. So I never responded to that one. And yet, they came back like a month later. Would you love to host a giveaway on YouTube? And I said, what would the details be? And then we got to talking and then I did a giveaway. Another video where I've actually removed that one now too, but the, the giveaway did happen. It was legit. I think uh, Cybrin, Cybrin, you won the pair of sunglasses. Uh, curious if you still have them. And they sent the sunglasses directly to the winner. I didn't have to do anything. Oh, and this is when they actually shared the photo of, uh, we nerf it with Flux. Like, I mean, sure. They did continue to ask for permission on some of these things. I see the giveaway is already live. Wow, thank you so much. People are having positive feedback and I can't thank you enough, men. <laughs> By the way, can I ask permission if we can use this video on our Amazon page and website? Uh, that was my giveaway video? Oh no, then I responded with my giveaway video. Yeah, but then the final correspondence happened in September. Hi Beret, we got new babies out. Would you love to give them a try? Let me know. And I think at this point, I finally understood that this was a, this was a one-sided relationship. You had given me two pairs of sunglasses and I had advertised plenty for you. I've signed nothing. I've agreed to nothing. I could have just taken those sunglasses and gone off and done whatever. But I was just so fed up with all of that BS at the time, I realized, oh, let's just cut it here. And then I think they kept pushing for some more stuff into 2020, um, which I was not involved in. They, they started reaching out more to uh, other members of Team Paradox for an upcoming event. And then I think um, the pandemic made them go real quiet and I, I haven't heard anything from them explicitly since. I have a very interesting thing to look back upon now as far as selling out our hobby, <laughs> selling myself out, selling myself short, short being zero dollars and zero cents, um, and hopefully never, ever, ever doing that again. I hope uh, anyone who did buy sunglasses from Flux enjoys them because like I said, 
They're totally fine to just wear around outside. You know, there are different styles. I'm not, shit, I'm, all, I'm not selling you flux sunglasses right now. Um, my blue ones I got rid of some time ago. Uh, I think they got damaged. Again, I apologize if that was deceiving or if I came off as like, hey, stop criticizing Flux sunglasses. They're trying to help the, the hobby grow. So I have kind of taken them out of uh, certain videos, at least like ad reads, apparent ad reads and like links. I know at least two other people got them and made review videos on Flux sunglasses in the foam flinging scene. Those videos are still up. I would encourage those folks to take them down unless they did get paid and they had some contract. Up to you, your videos. But I've uh, I've tried to go through and just remove all that crap because um, I'm done. That's how that all went down. Let me know uh, if you were around during that time because I know it was a, a weird thing to look back upon. And hopefully, hopefully going forward, <laughs> companies like Into the AM can't screw you over for eye protection because they don't make eye protection. Oh, there you go. Now nothing matters. And if you can't see yourself being used by a brand, you're not being used by a brand.